Hi folks, this video is presented, this video is presented by Apple Knowledge Lab, Coimbatu. Today we are going to show about a short demo of how we can interface RFID simulation with Proteus. Uh, RFID means radio frequency identification. In this process, we, the two, two models are involved. Totally RFID tag and RFID reader. The RFID tag consists of a particular coil, a small coil, which emits a radio frequency wave to a particular reader. The data which uh, data is 12 bit serial number. This 12 bit number transmit to the RFID reader. And the particular reader value matches with the particular controller data. Some process is going to happen. For example, uh, in real time application like uh, attendance system and uh, uh, in library book management system. So, how it works? Let's see. Now, I'm going to show you a short demo of. Interfacing a particular controller name, PIC16 of a with a RFID reader. Since Proteus doesn't have a RFID reader, we are going to use a virtual terminal as RFID reader. We are going to provide an input to the particular virtual terminal to the controller. Now, see, in our coding part, I having 12-bit serial number. For example, I am going to copy the 12-bit serial number. I am going to, I am going to give a send input to the controller through the serial input serial input we are going to use as uart whenever i'm going to give us input the particular detail which I, which i have saved in the particular controller coding which gets displayed in the lcd for example i am using the whole serial number as an input to the particular pix gene of double seven a whenever the data matches with the particular data in my coding it gets displayed in the proteus See, we can provide what are variables you need to do, depend upon, depending upon the application. For example, when we provide the next login detail in the controller part, some value gets displayed in the LCD. So that's what we are going to in the application. See here, login details, the name and the company name. It gets uh, transmitted through a serial port, through receiver and transmitter. First of all, in our EM18 module, it has only a transmitter port. Since data get transmitted from the EM18 module to the fixed gene of gate double seven a, so in the UR module transmitter pin is only involved in the process. The communication gets uh, the communication gets used through our radio frequency wave. In our EM18 module, total frequency is 100 kilohertz. We can increase the range by using different RFID reader. For example, we can use gigahertz also. And the RFID tag is same because RFID is a passive tag. Because what is my passive tag means? Passive, it, uh, it needs a power supply constantly. But an active tag doesn't need a power supply constantly. It can move around anywhere. So this is the difference between active and passive tag. In our project, we're going to use a passive tag. Since passive tag has a large number of applications in our project, we are using it as an input to the particular part so thank you folks for listening to my video